we gotta bi 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 build a sta stanchion. Good after afternoon, I think, because I think it's about uh, pro 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 probably about t t tw twelve o'clock. Um, we weren't able to f film, but um, we uh, we got a few more jer jerseys. These ones are m m minis, so they're more they're much s s smaller. So one of them though is in milk, so we, we are able to get milk, so we gotta bi 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 build a sta stanchion. So, <laughs> so, so the way we, we want to de design the stanchion is to where we can bring them in, into the round pen, and this part, part of the round pen will open to the side, and they can walk in into the stanchion to be m milked, and then let that back out, but they're still enclosed in, in, into that, and that keeps other cows from com coming in, trying to steal, steal their f food. So the, the, the thing about this stan stanchion is obviously we haven't b b built the house e yet, but the c cows are out on pastures, so we want, uh, this isn't gonna be uh, mounted in the ground or concrete. It's uh, going to be mobile, so we are building the st stanchion up on f uh, f four by six inch skids, and right right now D Davis is uh, cutting a diagonal uh, ch chunk out of the front so that it will be a slant and it won't c catch on the ground whenever we uh, drag it. But we'll be able to eventually. The idea is that we'll be able to hook it up and uh, move it. So this is how I'm going to start my uh, bolts and all that. I'm just going to lay it like this for the legs, put the bolts in, do the same thing to the other side, and then from there we can stand it up and uh, lean one up against the fence, bring the other one within distance that we need, set the first two floorboards, and then from there it's just uh, slapping everything together. got were those t t 10 inch hmm? those those are t t 10 inch yeah so so we got th three eighths of an inch by t t 10 10 inch c c carriage bolts to to attach the uh, to t attach the skid to the to the I don't know, I, mean, I guess we call, call them studs but the frame the main frame. Basically, what a carriage bolt is, in case you guys haven't seen one before, it's got a round head on one side, and you see the little square bar parts right there. What it's going to do is it's going to dig into the wood so that all you have to do is tighten one side, and then the bolt can come out easily, and you can get the nut off easily as well. Just makes it more simpler when you got. Uh, a bolt going into a hard to reach place which underneath the skids would be a very hard to reach place so you don't want to be trying to tighten two different sides at the same time so you get yourself a carriage bolt when you're dealing with wood and you only got to worry about your outside that you're tightening down and before I drill my second hole I'm gonna recheck my square just to make sure I'm still square looks like I'm still good So you far. always want your bolts to be kind of off center a little bit so they get a better better uh, grab on the torque at the top of the poles. What 
doing here, I'm just putting my nuts and stuff on there so I don't lose them in the tall grass. So the sides are finished, and uh, what Davis is doing next is he's c cutting out the floor boards. So we decided to m m make the stanchion, the actual floor where the cut stands, about four feet wide, only because there is a, a hu huge size d difference between Annabelle, Chloe, and, uh, and a a a Abby. An Annabelle and Chloe are like half of An Annabelle's, half half of Abby's size, so they need to it needs to be able to uh, ac accommodate all of them. So D D Davis got the both sides in, in position to where they're gonna go go up, so that we can pull this gate open and it'll basically create kind of a sh chute for the cow to go to w walk up into the stanchion. So what, what we decided to do is to put um, kind of a, what's, what's the word? Kind of like a di diagonal cut to, to where the skids, like a sled al al almost on both ends so we can ba basically hook it, hook it up from either end and uh, and be, have it to be able to be pulled either way, whichever way we need it to be hauled. than Abby. Look at the height dif difference. Alright, so got the floor all cut out, laid down. Uh, what we ended up using is the you hush. I'm trying to talk here. <laughs> what we ended up using was we got the four inch by six inch uh, by eight foot pressure treated skids, and all I did was cut a angle right to the eight foot mark, right right to the corner. So you got a nice 45 for the uh, uh, for the skid, so you can you can drag it with the tractor or a truck without having to worry about it digging in. Uh, so we end up using 12. Two by eights by ten foot, or we bought a what, twelve foot long. Uh, yeah, so yeah. we bought four of those, and we cut them, cut them down. It equaled out to twelve of of our four foot wides, and then to tie them in together with the uh, the gaps that we have, we got a two by six to tie in everything. So we don't have to rip no wood down the middle because we don't have a table saw out here. We're doing everything by battery power. Um, so to eliminate the uh, need for a table saw to rip a piece of wood in half. Uh, what we did was just gapped it out the right way, measured it out, and we ended up just using a two by six to tie everything in. So now we're going to go do is we're going to level it all out, screw it down, and then we'll start building our our support posts. We're getting there.
gave us got the, uh, the side braces put in, and we are gonna do what we what we say the 30, 36. We're gonna do a 36 inch height d difference for the. Uh, not sure, sure, sure exactly. I guess it's the neck where the, where their head is lo locked in. Their neck is lo locked into place. That, that way it can accommodate our short, shorter, sh shorter ca cows and our taller a a Abby. not perfect but we got it built and we're seeing where our first problem is is Big Mac trying to sneak his way out 